Okay, today we are heading to our very first national park. There's our sign! I keep thinking it's gonna end and it just keeps getting bigger and better and more different. All right, there it is, people. Brandywine Falls. Hi, my name is Billy. I'm Sierra, and this is our dog, Jetty. We usually live and travel on a boat, a few different boats, in fact. But now we are driving across the country as our new boat is being built. Join us on this all-new Tarantula adventure as we drive, bike, hike, paddle, and sail across the good old USA. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, today we are leaving Beaver Creek State Park and heading to our very first national park, Cuyahoga, Cuyahoga. At this state park, it says that they don't have enough water for you to be able to fill up your entire camper, but since we have the five gallon jug, we're gonna empty the five gallon jug into the camper and then just go fill up the five gallon jug. Just a bad angle. More like tilted like this, and I'll just change the angle. You wish we were rule breakers? Yep. No one's here. Like the the problem they have, I guess, is they have a small well or, or limited well capacity. But there's two people in the whole campsite, so we, I'm sure it'd be fine if we just filled up. But we're not rule breakers. <laughs> we're rule followers. Literally the only ones here. But again, we're not complaining. I'm not sure if I've told you this yet, but Cuyahoga is one of the most unique national park because it literally goes through like two big cities or towns essentially. And there is actually a path that brings you straight through that you can hike or walk or bike or whatever you want to do. And it's about 22 miles and it takes you right along the canal. And it is the road that used to be used by like horses and mules, mules or whatever. Along the canal, right? Yep. But which canal is it? The Ohio Erie Canal. And that path is called the Town Path, which we will be biking on tomorrow. And there is a railroad that goes pretty much right along that path as well. And it costs five dollars if you want to bike one way and then take the train back. So that's what we're gonna do. But unfortunately, Jetty is not allowed on the train, so we are spending today to hike and get her all tired. Our first stop is going to be Ledges Trail, which is supposed to be really cool and brings you by like caves and stuff. Um, I'm waiting for there to be like a huge arch that says, welcome to the national park, but I don't think there's going to be one. <laughs> I don't even know if there's gonna be a sign. We don't even know if we're in it. There's our sign. Yeah. You wanna go on a hike? Wow, don't seem too enthused. Do you like I think so? Jenny, you wanna have fun? You look nervous. <laughs> it's even funnier when we can see your teeth. She's like, guys, I was just taking a nap. Are you ready? All right, guys, we're hiking the ledges. It's raining on and off right now, so we're leaving this camera here. Gonna take the little GoPro. Let me know how you like the footage from the GoPro. It's been working all right. Oh, this is crazy looking. Wow. Isn't that nuts? That's wild looking. So according to the sign we read back there, around 230 million years ago, this whole area was a whole big swamp 
and all this stone is just sediment that was settled in the swamp and then just compressed and turned into stone. And then like the shape of the ledges over here is just carved by the water and the environment through the rock over time. It's pretty dang neat. Nature is cool, folks. Wow. Look at this. It goes from like gravel to like stone. I dare you to climb back in there. No way, Jose. Hello. Whoa. What? Is there a light? Someone answer my call. <laughs> <laughs> I got you too. <laughs> I don't know what Ohio is supposed to feel like, but this to me isn't what I would expect to be in Ohio. It just blows my mind that this is in the middle of like... Right between Akron and Cleveland, the two, two big cities in Ohio. Nuts. Not the carvings, stupid carvings. Like the ridges in the trunk. Crazy. If you want to be a good nature loving citizen, do not carve your name into cool trees. So this ledges hike is a relatively short hike. It's only two and a quarter mile in a complete loop around. What did you just say to me? <laughs> I said when we're hiking, I can stop and appreciate how cool all this whole root system looks. When we're mountain biking, I just curse them the whole time for making me go... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's a steep drop. Come on, take a hero. Let's go over here. Wow. They, they remind me of the Rocky Dundies. Yeah, in the Bahamas. With all the different colors and the indentations. It looks wild. What were those called? The lagmites? Look at the vines and like roots growing all through that one. How does that even possible? I don't know, this looks so nuts. I must say this place is pretty cool. I don't know what kind of expectations I had, but I think whatever they were, it succeeded them. <laughs> Do you agree? Yeah. I mean, I don't really know what kind of ledges I was expecting, but these ledges are pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the coolest ledges I've ever seen. Like I keep thinking it's gonna end and it just keeps getting bigger. Getting like bigger and better and more different. Like every little area is so different from the others. Like look above you. That's so crazy looking. Looks like the ledge that Simba holds or Mufasa <laughs> holds Simba out on. <laughs> I should do that with Jetty. That would be so funny. All right, so if you guys are in Ohio, 
or thinking about passing through Ohio, I definitely recommend this park and this particular hike, 100%. Don't skip it. Don't skip it. However, I did hear that this is the most popular hike. Um, we kind of got kind of lucky because today's what, a Tuesday and it was raining, so I think it's pretty empty, but um, just pick your times carefully because I think it can get pretty crowded. I think that's it for Ledges, the Ledges Trail. We're headed back to the parking lot. Are we doing another hike today? Yes, we got a tire jetty out, yo. I think we should go do a waterfall. Either Brandywine or Bridal Bay. Brandywine's supposed to be the one that we should definitely do for here, right? Oh, yeah, I think so. Who told you that? Um, I think I read it somewhere. In the book, maybe? Yeah. All right, headed to Brandywine, waterfalls. Here at Brandywine Falls. Let's go check it out. What do we, how far are we going? I don't know. We got an option to do 1.4 or add 1.4 plus 1.5. Because we're here. We can just do this or we could do this plus that. Let's see how we feel. Alright, there it is, people. Brandywine Falls. There's so many places in the U.S. that are so beautiful. The waterfall experience in the U.S. compared to like all the Caribbean waterfalls that we've been going to is just so different. Like, we're on a paved boardwalk, overlook path, and all this. In a national park. Yeah. Rarely was there like a, we're on, like, a nice boardwalk, and yeah, you were. Required walking sticks and hiking didn't through the see forest. All day long. Just. just it's just different. It's just both, cool to have yeah, both super cool, both those super experiences. Nice. It looks like there's a bunch more places to check out around here. Maybe even some more spots to see the waterfall. So we'll keep on walking and see what we can find. It's crazy, it doesn't seem like that much water is flowing until you look at it falling. So fun little fact about this place, like most areas back in the day that were on a powerful water source, there were a bunch of mills around here. It started off with an old sawmill and then a gist mill whatever that is so they would use the powerful river to turn a big wheel and then to power maybe some gears and things to power the machinery um, inside the mill to do what whatever function the mill was meant for whether it be um, turning a saw or grinding something to grind grains or whatever it is so a few mills around here back in the day you had another fun interesting fact Hiahoga is an Indian word meaning crooked after the Crooked River, the Cuyahoga River. It's named this because the river is crooked. And we'll also have to fact check this. The Cuyahoga River was a river back in the day, I think it was the 60s or the 70s, where there was so much pollution in the river that it actually caught on fire. And that's one of the big events that sparked like the environmental revolution, which again, I believe was in the 60s. That was um, on this river? Yeah. I don't know, we'll have to fact check it. And that also led to the Clean Water Act, which really helped clean up all the waterways throughout the U.S. Um, back in the day, back during that time period. And, you know, still to this day, a lot of the waters are much cleaner than they were back then. Their parks sure are clean.
All right, you guys, we're just finishing up the Brandy Wine Falls hike. Pretty beautiful. I'd say check it out. Try to come at not a crowded time. Definitely some people around, but that's all right. And wear bug spray before you went. There's kind of a lot of mosquitoes. Mission two complete. Mission three, find a place to park and spend the night without someone knocking on our door and telling us we can't stay. <laughs> all right, let's go find a spot to sleep. Okay, so when we are looking for a free campsite, kind of in the middle of <laughs> everything, we used the app called iOverlander, and it gave us three spots right in the same area. One was at the railroad station, one was at a trailhead, and another one I think was at a trailhead. But we are in one right now, and there is a gate, but it doesn't look like they lock it. It looks like it can be closed and locked, but apparently according to like the iOverlander app, they don't. Yeah, so there's reviews on this app, and the last person was here like two weeks ago, and they said nobody bothered them. Um, so we will see. It's nice and quiet and pretty, so hopefully we can spend the night. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. We just want to stop by and let you know that there is a sale going on in the Tula shop right now. You can use coupon code SUMMERSALETULA for 15% off. Whether you are looking to grab a tea at a great price or stock up on some hoodies for the cooler months ahead, now is your chance. Thanks so much for watching and shopping and we will catch you later. I'm afraid there's like a spider in there or something. Yeah.